This is Navigator's Bar and Grill. Great place, great restaurant, great food. And uh, the owner of this place, uh, Jesse Shows, um, he actually has became a sponsor for the Real Treasure Hunters. He's right there, as you see. And uh, what he's done is not only has he sponsored us by, uh, it was very, very helpful when he came to, uh, we did a couple episodes, one for Travel Channel and, and Discovery, and put up his place. Uh, anything we needed, uh, he was basically here. And so we brought him in as part of the crew. And as soon as he comes back out, we'll let you, uh, I'll introduce you to him. There's the rest of the crew. We're getting ready. There's Jesse. He's, Jesse's been uh, very fluent to the area. Um, knows the waters like the back of his hand. He's been to, uh, into this tail, pirate tail. Now we have another uh, crew just member just showed up. And today's adventure, we are going after the supposedly silver bars. At least we think it's silver bars. But it could be the ballast to the ship. So we want to find out today exactly what's in that water and what it is. So follow us on our journey. See you there. So are you. What do you think, Aaron? Well, it's going to be interesting today. We're going to check out the silver bars today that Mike seems to think are there. So we're going to prove or disprove this whole thing. We'll see. You never know. I got my knife. I got my knife and my gun. Oh, then we're good to go. Absolutely. <laughs> way to Island 33 to check out the uh, silver bars. It's a little cloudy. So the story here goes that supposedly a ship had came through the Gulf of Charlotte Harbor, came here, hit bottom, Right and, along just, everything. and left the trail supposedly, we don't know if it's silver bars, that goes probably a hundred yards straight up the river here. It might be thousands or silver bars, but we want, we want to check it out to see what it is. How deep's the water? Uh, we're talking about six feet. Eight feet. It's gonna get deeper. Remember it got deeper for a little bit and then it came back up? So the water depth changes a little bit right up here and it kind of drops off a little bit deeper. Based on the information we have, we believe it's right up here. Mikey G's putting the extension on. So that way it's the same height as he is with his high lift flip flops. I can't figure out what happened to my costas, or my other guys. What we want to do is, we're going to stick the metal detector in, into the water, just to see if we get any kind of signal. <laughs> Nothing's coming up on is this one the bottom scan. <laughs> what? Is this what I'm paying you? you? Wait a minute, you're getting paid? Yeah. Oh, well, I got screwed on this one. We're checking out uh, the ground to see if there's anything on the floor. This is giving us the actual ground laid out. Uh, it's giving us a 50 feet or 50 feet to the right and 50 feet to the left. And there's that white spot again. You see it right there? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Well, there we, there's a white spot. We don't know what exactly it is. Yeah, let's see. Cowabunga! Yeah, 
feet. We're doing it. Jesse, by the way. We're doing an equipment test. Turned off.
I got Rico. I got everything else. This is what they call a selfie stick. That's Hey, I heard they're good. You know what they do? You got this. What do you think? I think we need more sunlight. I, I couldn't agree with All right. We just checked out um, Island 33 where we had spotted supposedly uh, shiny objects in the water. And I got Jesse here right next to me. And he had heard some. Hold on, start over. I want to take it also. Awesome. <laughs> Tape two, tape two. So we, uh, we're here at Island 33 and we checked uh, where we thought there might have been shiny objects in the water, possibly silver bars or ballast to a ship. We're not even sure ourselves what it, what it is. That's why we came out here. And uh, we have Jesse here with us and he had brought up about possibly hearing some stories about this area and about this because the story says that a ship came through to Charlotte Harbor into the Peace River and then hit bomb. And when they hit bomb, supposedly that you know, solar bars came pouring out or wherever they uh, let some of the balances go to balance the ship going down. But anyhow, uh, this is Jesse and uh, Jesse Reed. You know. I've always heard rumors of people finding silver bars out here. I haven't seen any, but you know, there's always a little bit of truth behind the rumors. So we figure, you know what, friends? particular legends. Uh, I don't want to say it's a bust yet. Um, we're going to have to come back down and actually dive it. We figure we could try doing it by uh, doing a couple of dives with my snorkeling and uh, we're going to take another trip back out here. So uh, right now we're just kind of checking the area through our sonar to see if there's anything else. So we'll let you know what happens. Over here is Bird Island. <laughs> That's Mike. He's trying to mate with one of them. Mike, can we hear your mating call again? I'm leaving you. I don't know if he's trying to mate with one or he's hurt. I don't know if that's a distress signal or if he's trying to mate with one or he's hurt. You bird fucker. I will start as a hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag no bird fucker here. <laughs> I 
this is what they call Liverpool, also formerly once known as Boomtown. It's this whole area, this whole area behind us. about that area right there. And if you look up in there, you can see the, like big triangles. You can still see the island. See the triangles in the top of the top? Yeah, the concrete seawall. So you can still see the seawall right there. And this is old Boomtown. Oh yeah, look at the seawall right there. Was this like one of the first places that it was oh. civilized in this area? This was in the 1800s, late 1800s. Oh, look, it's brick. It's brick. Yeah, that's part of it. That's a pilot? Yeah, how cool is this? So, for our next episode, find some antique artifacts. Find some artifacts from Boomtown. Hey, it's not always about gold. You know, we'll take artifacts. An Indian arrowhead. I just want to find something. It's about the adventure. Yeah, it's about the adventure, Todd. Tell them. All about the adventure. Uh, what do you think it is? I think it's about the Avenger. The Avenger? <laughs> this guy's supposed to find treasure. You're supposed to find something. You're hunters. What the fuck have you found yet? You. Beer cans. <laughs> We're finding a bunch of stuff. Beer cans. Yeah. Old, old nails. Some spikes. nails, some old nails. Steel spikes? Yeah, steel spikes. You found that little doll? Were you scared to say that? Yeah, a little bar is popping up. Yeah, I saw it. Bigger car. So, next adventure is the Avengers of Boomtown. We're going to investigate it. The Avengers of Boomtown. We're going to see what's back in there and try to find something. Can you like walk through this? Is like, is it clear and open? You want to go now? Let's keep it as a mystery for the next episode. You don't have to put it in. I'm so anxious. That's what she said. Are you ready to go? <laughs> Make me do stuff ahead of time. I wasn't ready for this. Did you get here by fuck? That's a big snake. Where? Black water. <laughs> Where? The big black racer. Where? He's over there. He's right inside here. They completely caught me off guard. <laughs> That's great. That's reality. Can you get here by That's reality dark? TV right there, guys. Can you get here by dark? Yeah. Is that the road? Um, she's not going to float away or anything, is she? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll drive a boat. Want to put that anchor out? Or just pull it. Oh, your feet will get wet, I'll do it. We got a tie? Hey, one good pull. Slide. This is a nice place to camp out. I got pretty scared. Yeah, I saw that. That was awesome. Like Michael Jordan jumped. Don't come to my house, Todd. This is, we're still here over at Boomtown. Brick. Mm -hmm. Probably the old brick in the old way or something, huh? Yeah, we see it up here. We'll pop one of those over here.
Go any deeper, man. Come on, let's do this for next time. Alright. Because I know we're gonna find all kinds of shit in here. Yeah. Dude, we'll be here, we'll be here all day. We ain't gonna leave this place. I'm telling you, we're gonna find all kinds of crap. Mm -hmm. Obviously you got these old ruins, you know. Oh, you see that? Oh shit. Yeah, you're right. Let's go back. Come on. Oh, what is this? What is that? Well, you know what? All right, leave it for the next episode, guys. Sorry. Dude, we could camp that bit. Well, do a whole episode of just camping now. Yeah. Look at how old that shit is, too, man.